<laughs> Hi, yeah, I'm calling to get some more information about a industrial unit you have listed for rent. Yes, yes. Um, how much rent would be for a 12-month lease if we could put a car lift in it? Okay, that works. Sweet, thank you. Sorry, the mailbox is full and there is not enough space to leave a message. I'm trying to buy your shit. Let me buy your shit. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Cool news, because we probably found a new shop and we probably found an apartment to live in. Uh, the shop is the exact same size and the exact same price, except 10 times closer and 10 times nicer than this one. I don't know why I didn't find it earlier. Kind of sucks, but oh well. It's way too early to tell if any of these things will actually work out, but hopefully they do. And yeah, hopefully we found a new shop and stuff. The other cool thing is... Oh, boom! We got some Gingium t-shirts. It says Gingium, except the two eyes are wrenches. The M is the Mazda M. There's a little camera, there's a car jack and stuff. It's a simple little design. Um, the t-shirts aren't up for sale quite yet. I'm trying to figure out some shipping stuff, but they will be up soon. Hopefully you guys like them. <coughs> I'm also a little sick. And uh, the air fresheners are all sent out. So if you bought an air freshener, they're coming soon. Audrey, show them. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Another really exciting update, which yet again is very general and maybe not won't happen, but I might have found an engine for the RX-7. Turbo 2 engine, manual trans, manual wiring harness and ECU, uh, full swap for everything, and it's a pretty good deal. Um, it's actually one of you guys who contacted me who has one laying around. Um, the only thing is it's in Houston, Texas, so maybe, Maybe we might be taking a road trip down to Houston to pick up an engine sometime soon. I don't know. This is yet again all very not happening yet, but might have found the right engine for the right price. So we'll see. Pretty pumped about that. But that's it for updates. Uh, today we're working on the bus yet again. We got to finish it in order to go down to Houston to get an engine and stuff like that. Uh, today we're not building anything, we're just painting stuff and finishing the wood stuff. So we're, we're polyurethaning the wood and painting the cabinets. We were going to get a countertop for the cabinets, but turns out those are like thousands of dollars if you want like a real one, so we're gonna find a way to make our own. But uh, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get started. Towel, paint tray, caulk, urethane brushes, paint one, paint two, urethane rollers and lots of magnets for all the cabinets and stuff magnets magnets magnet magnets magnets what the heck i can't say magnets magnets mag magnets magnets magnets
sure if you guys heard that, but I just got a call from the realtor of the new shop that we're looking at. It's, it's seeming good. Um, it's actually cheaper than this shop here. Uh, it's got a bigger office, it's got heat, AC, um, water obviously, but it's potable water, um, electric, 220 amp electric. It sounds really awesome. So we're gonna go look at that Saturday and then start the moving process. We will probably end up for a couple months having both the shops because it's gonna take like a month to move everything over to the new shop and get the leases and stuff all figured out. So um, I don't really know when we will end up moving in, but um, as long as everything looks good, I think we will end up moving in. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the cabinets and the, well, the drawers and the doors, drawers and doors. I wanted to put these on tonight, but sadly, um, this paint has just taken a lot of layers to fully cover these uh, these doors and drawers. This is the fifth layer of paint, and you can't really tell on the camera, but I can still see some unevenness. So I'm gonna do another layer and then let it dry for the night. But obviously it's nighttime, gotta go. But we will finish those uh, a later day. We got a decent amount of work done today. We uh, polyurethaned all the wood so it's not gonna mold or get rotten or any of that kind of stuff. Um, we painted the, the, the base of the cabinets and we did paint most of the cabinet doors. They, should, they need a couple more layers. And uh, we installed some magnets on all the cabinets so they'll stay closed while we're driving around and they won't rattle and stuff like that. If you're wondering, the color scheme that we're doing for the bus is gray, red, blue, and yellow. And then the wood color. Um, trust me, it looks good. Audrey's doing most of the interior design because she's a little bit better of colors and matching and making stuff look nice, but I think it will look pretty good when everything is done. Yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. Hopefully you guys do like the look of this t-shirt, I, I think it's okay. I think it's pretty good. It is really comfortable, so I think that's all that matters, right? I wanna get past the furniture building kick that we're on and get to doing some of the cool stuff like the electrical of the bus, the solar panels, the awning outside, the, uh, the roof rack, and the lift, and all that kind of stuff. I wanna get to that, but we have to do all this before we can get to that because this is the, more, this is the important stuff. I can't go on a trip without cabinets and kitchens and sinks and couches but I can go on a trip without a lift, you know? So, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, please.